Shalom, I'm back with part three. Let's continue here. All right, so that's the main scripture that I wanted to give you based on the video. For many shall come in my name saying, I am the Christ and shall deceive many. All right? All right, so uh, you know what? We'll just read down, okay? Uh, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You're certainly hearing about that. And be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You understand that? For nations shall rise against mm -hmm. nation kingdom against kingdom, there shall be famines, pestilences, what are your pestilences? Your viruses, your plagues, all right, and earthquakes in diverse places. Are these things not happening? Yes, they are, all right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. You see that? That's where you're at, okay? That's letting you know the time that you're in. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Particularly, who is this talking about? The elect of Israelites, the ones that have this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay? The proof of that, we go back. Give me a minute. This is Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The woman is Israel. Okay? The Lord uh, sees Israel as a woman. Okay? You read that in Jeremiah 6 and 2. You know, he sees uh, Zion, right? He's referring to Israel as Zion. That's interchangeable with the word Jerusalem, Israel, right? As a calm and delicate woman. Okay, so you also read it up in verse 1 here. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman, again, you'll see it's talking about Israel, clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars, the 12 stars representing the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand that, people? All right? So that's to give you some understanding. All right? This is why we do precepts. All right? It's money in the bank. All right? You could have no greater riches than these scriptures. Okay? If you understand these scriptures, if the gift has been given onto you, okay, then guess what? You're rich beyond your dreams. Okay? Because there's no greater wealth than this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these scriptures. All right? And the dragon was wroth, and the dragon is who? Esau, Edom, and his military, right? You know, the Edomite beast system made up of Mark of Babylon the Great, the Hur, the EU nations, and NATO, okay? And remember that that was consummated in 1958 under the Treaty of Rome, okay? This Edomite beast system, all right? So the dragon was wroth, meaning angry with the woman, who is Israel, and went to make war with her seed. All right, so who is the seed of Israel? The descendants of Jacob. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? Now, in particular, who? All right? Who did they go? Because this, this makes it clear. All right? And we just got through reading, right? It says here, and they shall shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, right? So in particular, who are they coming after? Well, this is going to tell you. They which keep the commandments of the God power, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and they have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach. You see that? So it's talking about the elect. Okay? And then we scroll up here, 
12 and 12, what does it say? Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, okay, and of the sea, all right? So again, I'm not talking about the masses, all right, the sea. For the devil, and we're not talking about some guy, you know, in a red spandex suit with two horns, a tail, and a pitchfork. No, you're talking about man, and you're talking about Esau, Edom. All right, the white man is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. What does it mean by a short time? Go to Job. I'll give you an example. We go to Job. So lucky for that. Job. 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. All right? They're numbered. You understand that? The number of his months are with thee. With who? Yahweh Bashim. Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because he rules in the kingdom of men. All right? Thou has appointed his bounds. You see that? He has appointed his bounds to Esau that he cannot pass. He will not go one second beyond what the Lord has allotted him in rulership. Do you understand that, people? And he knows that he's at the end. That's why, you know, going back to when Trump was in office, he called it warp speed. Okay? And that's where they're at. But again, like for example, these people want to exactly what we are reading. They want to afflict you and they want to kill you. And they're going to, but they're not going to get all of us. Okay? They're not going to get the elect, per se. All right? You know, maybe a few here or there. You know, but the elect will have a seal upon them. That's why they haven't gotten us yet. There's a seal, there's a hedge placed upon the men of the Lord. Okay, it tells you that, you read about it in Revelation chapter 7. You know, where you have the four angels and they're holding back the four winds. The winds are representing the destruction that are coming on the earth. You further read about that in uh, Revelation, the ninth chapter, right around the uh, 15th verse there. All right? Okay, if, they, if they've been holding uh, the winds back for a year and a half and certain months, okay, you know, till they get the green light, all right, you know, so that they can release all the destruction that's coming upon the earth. Okay, but going back to Revelation chapter 7, you know, another angel appeared and said, you know, wait until we have sealed, you know, the servants of the Lord, the elect. Okay, before the destruction. That seal goes back to the word Mark that you read in uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Okay, which is speaking about, you know, uh, you know, uh, go through the midst of the city of Jerusalem, you know, of Israel, you know, and, uh, you know, place the mark, you know, upon these certain uh, individuals. And that mark, that seal, when you get into that word in the blue letter, it's talking about that they are exempt from the judgment, from the destruction that's coming upon the earth. You understand that, people? You get it? All right? That's to give you some understanding. Okay? So Esau is no different all right, in his rulership than the Babylonian kingdom, than the Medo-Persian kingdom, that when they ruled as uh, calling themselves the Greeks, all right, the third beast, and of course, morphing into the fourth and final beast, the Roman Empire, they're no different, okay? They had a bounds that they could not pass. You understand that? Okay? All right? He's not in charge. The Lord is, all right? All right, uh, let's get back. All right, I believe the point is made. All right, we're moving on. Okay. 
All right, and you understand, uh, what is that, Isaiah 19 or 2? Egyptian against Egyptian, kingdom against kingdom. You understand that, people? And again, this stuff all goes back to like Mark 3, 24 to 26. How can Satan cast out Satan? And again, we're not talking about the spiritual entity Satan. We're talking about how can Edomite cast out Edomite? Okay? Well, a nation divided cannot stand. It has its end. Okay? In America, Babylon the Great, as with America with her allies, the EU and NATO, they're all not on the same page. Do you understand that? They're, they are divided. Do you understand that? They are divided. Okay? They don't see eye to eye. And this is talked about when you're reading Daniel chapter 2 and the 10 toes. All right? And part of that would be iron and part of that would be miry clay. Do you understand that? Letting you know that it would fall apart. All right? You understand that? Okay, that it wouldn't hold together. All right? Because they're divided. Okay? All right. So, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And that's what Esau is trying to do. That's why he's got you running around with a diaper in your face. Okay? And all the other things that he's doing. All right? Okay? To keep you people separate. All right? To keep you divided. You know? Okay? And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because of the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Again, that goes back to Revelations uh, 2, 26, 28. He that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right? And uh, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. That started happening. Okay. Uh, you know, since what? 2007. When, uh, you know, uh, the elders, starting with other Apostle Tahar and the other elders, you know, got on YouTube. You understand that? And now we're here at the end. All right. If it was that Renaissance Plantation Christianity, then I guess the end would have came long ago. But obviously, that's not the truth, is it? <laughs> no, those are deceptions and lies. False doctrine. <laughs> All right. Um, when ye therefore shall see, all right, the abomination of desolation spoken of in Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. All right, and that's the key to everything. When you're reading, you know, he who have an ear, let him hear, and all that, that's what it's talking about. He who readeth, let him understand. That's the key word, understanding, people, understanding what you're reading. All right, understanding, you know, the, uh, again, the, uh, you know, the uh, etymology of words, okay, the, uh, the parables, the dark sayings, okay, uh, the, metaphoric and uh, parabolic, you know, form that it comes in, the scriptures, all right? Okay. Let him which is on the housetop come down. All right, you know what? Skip that. I'm going to jump down here. All right. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world uh, to this time, nor ever shall be, all right? And the Great Tribulation is talking about Jacob's trouble. And except those days should be sought, and there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, you see that? The elect of Israel, those days shall be shortened. And if any man, this is the key now, this is one of the other key verses I had here written down. If any man shall say to you, lo, here is, right, the Hamashiach, Right? Because I hate saying that word Christ. Or there, believe it not. You see that? It's warning you. Believe it not. We'll be right back with part four. Shalom.